Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how um, I did a quick little page in my journal, in my junk journal, and I'm hoping it will inspire you guys to create. Um, I did this journaling. Um, so I guess let's start here. So basically um, what I like to do is to, when I print my pictures, I'm going to show you guys, I, I usually print one in black and white and one in color. And so what I do is I put two pictures. Um, I use Photoshop, but you can also use Canva. So what I do is I drag in uh, two pictures and I put them next to each other. So I'm getting two smaller size prints instead of one four by six. So it's usually like two, well, two prints will be like four by three. Okay, so these are four by three inches each. So again, I think you can do this in Canva or in um, Adobe Spark, and those apps are free, or you can do it in Photoshop. So anyways, I like smaller images in my journals, and um, you can also do this in wallets, but I just go with the 4 by 6s um, It just is simple for me. So anyways, so what I did was I printed this picture, and I used an old envelope here. Let's see if you can see more. And then I kind of layered it out. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, once I did this layout, my son saw it. And he wanted to do that in his journal. So he's not a big, uh, like, uh, in crafting. But sometimes he will join me and kind of work on his journal and add like bits and pieces so okay so here is his page and so again I have the old envelope right here I have the just a page a dictionary page and then this is a just like a little notepad paper so I layered them up and then a photo on top and then underneath I have space for journaling so I wanted to show you guys how I did that. So here's my journaling page. And originally, I didn't. Li I glued everything down, and then I journaled. And I did not like how I journaled, so I actually tore off that page. So you can see how it tore. And then I just um, this was a quick fix. I just tore the page right there, and I grabbed another one and I tore it in the same way, and I glued it on top. I don't know if you can. If that makes sense let me see if I have okay so originally I thought that I I was thinking my my thought process was I don't want my writing to come out on the side and so I just wrote right underneath the picture if that makes sense and so then when I looked at it I really did not like the way the composition of that I thought it looked really bad but it was already glued down so then I just tore it off see I just tore it straight out and then I tore this page so that it kind of covers this edge and it's not perfect but it's um, somewhat seamless you can't really notice um, it unless you're kind of looking close and I don't mind because it is a junk, junk journal it's not like it has to be perfect so um, I like it much better with the writing kind of peeking out just a tad. And so um, anyway, so I'm going to show you how easy this page came together in case you guys want to try it. Okay, so I think it looks really good to use um, these old papers, just kind of layering them. So I got my envelope, I got my vintage um, pocket dictionary page, and I have this um, piece of uh, notepad paper, and I am going to grab a picture, basically a 4 by 3 I believe. Anyway, something like that. Um, so basically what I do first is I'm going to grab the envelope, and then this just kind of goes on top. You can kind of play with it. Now let's see, this one, I tilted it a little bit sideways. Let's see, I'm gonna try to duplicate that. 
So I tilted it just a little bit sideways. Let's see, about there and this. Okay. And then this is going to go just right there. So now I inked my edges on this, if you can see. Just, it gives it more dimension. And um, let me see, I'm going to show you guys my son's. He actually wanted the paper to be torn on the side there so that it doesn't hang out of his journal too much. And then he used different washi tape. And so I was going to show you guys, this is my the washi tape I used. And I like this dark color. I feel like it kind of grounds the page. And it gets your eye to look straight at the picture. So that's what I would do here is, um, first I'm going to just ink the edges. And then I will um, go from there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is ink these edges. I'm even going to do the envelope. I didn't, I didn't do the envelope on that one. So I'm going to go just really light. And I'm also I'm using the walnut stain one, the Distress Ink by Tim Holt. I guess I should show you. I'm using that one and the tea dye one. Okay, so I like the mix. I'm going to do it just really quick there. There's that one. Okay, and you should always pay, I mean, I always like to kind of pay attention to what the words say because that's kind of nice to have words that... Um, work out they kind of fit the picture or that personality so it gives it more depth and meaning so i think that's a good idea okay so now what i'm gonna do is i like to have i like to see the stamp so i'm gonna leave that there and then this kind of sits just well you know what you can even put it down more and you know what i might just find another page that I can use this in. So basically something like that. Let's see, now I'm trying to vary it a little bit. But no, you know what, I'm going to keep it the same. So basically what I do is I kind of try to find out where I like it. I think I like that. So now I'm going to grab some tape so you can use this. Maybe I should try a different color. I kind of like the pink. So I got the pink tape, washi tape. And so I have journaling space here. And now I think I want to add a little bit of a... a washi right here to just kind of hold that down and okay so there's the basics of my layout and as you can see I um, let's see another tip that I want to say was that I used um, see how you can the background page is avocado dye and it has this nice blush color and so I used the blush color tape and it kind of, it just works really well. And then it picks up the color from the sides too. And so I think I like that. And so if you come up with a good layout, that's like another kind of tip is to repeat it. And you don't have to repeat it completely. You can change out the papers, but I just wanted to repeat it so that I can show you guys how I did it. And now another thing that you can do that I didn't do in here yet is you can actually um, cut the, okay, let's see. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife here. You can actually cut the side. I'm actually cutting the side so I can get to 
to this other side because this is what is I want this to be a tuck spot and so I can't reach it this when I glue it down in here it'll be kind of hard to reach and so okay so this piece came off the envelope is broken a little bit and so I kind of pieced it together um, right there with some washi tape anyways um, okay so in here I'm just gonna cut this side actually you know what I can just use this I'm sure this will work because you can't really see it anyways most of the envelope you can't see because it's underneath there so oh you can see the top but you know what I'm just gonna ink it a little bit now you can do a better job with the inking and use the little um, the little tool and age it a little bit but I just wanted to do a really quick um, a little quick layout so let's see I just wanted to do that anyway so now I have this little opening right there and it could be a tuck spot or just kind of like a secret place for a message and I'm gonna glue this down actually I'm gonna ask my daughter to write me something um, she loves to write and so I'm gonna ask her to write write me something maybe she'll give me one of her poems to put inside there so um, I think that'll be nice anyways or you can do letters or more pictures I can tuck in a couple more photos too so that way it's kind of tucked inside and then um, when you open it sometimes you forget about what you have tucked away so let's say um, when you open it and you kind of it's almost like a little surprise I think that's kind of fun okay so there is my page now I'm going to show you my other one now what I did here is I did a little ruffle down here and I'll show you how I did that I just grabbed a piece of oops a piece of fabric and okay so I have my needle here I'm gonna just tie the end and see if I can do this really quick so the ruffle I just what I do is oops. okay so what I do is just fold it and you poke your needle through oops I need a bigger knot I guess okay let's see if this is gonna work again um, I should have probably just rethread my needle because it's so short on here the thread that I have left but maybe it'll work anyways okay so what I'm doing is making little folds and then I poke the needle up through there oh I don't think you can see oops I'm so sorry okay so what I'm doing is I'm making little a little fold and then I just poke the needle up and down through it it doesn't have to be perfect you're not making a perfect ruffle it's just um, a little bit of added detail okay again I did the fold and then I'm going to put the needle up and then back down so it kind of makes that ruffle and when I'm done I just you can sew it obviously to your um, to your page but you know what I kind of um, I usually sew it to my page but for this one I just glued it down because it's so quick and easy to just glue it it's kind of simpler and you can also use glue to make the ruffle too I just like to sew it and so then when I get to the end I think tying it off is like my least favorite thing to do so I'm making a loop and just um, pulling my needle through the middle there through that circle 
and that is how I'm tying it off. And I do it, okay, I'm gonna do it again. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna just knot it off at the end. You don't have to do it this many times. I'm just trying to show you. I'm like, I hope I'm on camera still because it's easy to come off of it, I guess. Okay, so. Okay, um, let's see. So there's my little ruffle. And what I did was just glue that down. And I don't know if I should do the same thing here I'm doing. The exact same one. Maybe I'll put it on this side here this time. Well, let's see. Um, maybe I'll just do that for now. Okay. So I don't always like to use the same thing in a journal, but it's okay. I might as well make use of it. So. Okay, so I'm trying to get my glue going. Okay, maybe I should use a pen and Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on each I'm going where the ruffle is at kind of double so that it doesn't seep through too much. Okay, so now I'm going to just set it down. I think I like it this way better though. Okay, let's see am I on okay so there's that and then if you want to do this what I did here was I just grabbed um, a piece of cotton I really love this um, this is like cotton just some cotton yarn and I found it actually at the Dollar Tree so I just cut off okay so all I did was cut off a piece of it I I tie the ends just to kind of hold them together. Anyways, but I love the way this looks. I also use like hemp twine. So what I do was um, I made a little knot. Well, I started with a knot and then I might as well show you guys. Um, maybe I should put it up here. Let's see. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to tie a little bow, but I don't know if I want it. I think maybe down here would be better for this one. Okay, so what I do is you can tie it on there or you can use a stapler. And I have this really cool old stapler. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right here. Okay, so then you can tie a bow. You can add a charm if you want. And there's like this. Okay. And you know what? I think I am going to do, usually I wait till the end to tie it and to, to see if I need to snip more off. And I think I'm going to do another tie on here and snip off a little bit more because it's a little bit big on this side. And so I don't mind if they're like a little bit off, but it seems a little bit too much. So, okay. They don't have to be perfect, but I don't want the difference to be too big either with the size. Okay, so I think that looks a lot better. And there we go. And so, oops, I forgot about this and now this is supposed to lift up. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to glue it a little bit down more so it's not like, so the picture can flip out if I want it to journal underneath there. Okay, so.
you know what, I'm going to snip it off just a little bit. So yeah, I totally forgot that this flips out. I don't know if it's because I was doing the video <laughs> or what, but I don't always like to do the same things, so I always change things up. So that's like one of the things for me. Um, okay. Okay, so there we go. I think that's cute. Let's see. I love that extra journaling space. And then this kind of holds it down. So, and then this can pop up. Let me see if you can see. So there's going to be a secret little spot for any extra notes or journaling space. So see how that's a little bit different? I like it. So I could have added a charm there. That's what I did here. I added this little charm. I added that charm in when I tied up the bow. And so, so yeah, I like that I varied it. I like that a lot because um, I don't want every page to be the same. But yeah, I think that turned out good. And then you can see my son's version of it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this craft with me. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.